The title of this painting Our Lady with the Holy Child Jesus Christ. May seem normal, but do you know who the painter is? This painting is oil on canvas, 1913. And surprisingly this was painted by Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler, dictator of Germany from 1933 to 1945, was also a painter. He produced hundreds of works and sold his paintings and postcards to try to earn a living during his Vienna years, 1908 to 1913. Despite little success professionally, he continued to paint throughout his life. A number of his paintings were recovered after the Second World War and have been sold at auction for tens of thousands of dollars. Others were seized by the United States Army and are still held by its government. General opinion on his work is mixed, it has been criticized as being cold and unfeeling, with many arguing that Hitler had greater talent as an architect. Demonstrated by how he addressed architecture in his paintings as compared to other details such as trees or people. Hitler's style was very calculated when representing architecture in his paintings. Instead of progressing in his artistic influence, his works copied the artists of the 19th century and other masters. He claimed to be the synthesis of many artistic movements but drew primarily from Greco-Roman classicism, the Italian Renaissance, and Neoclassicism. He liked the technical ability of these artists, as well as the comprehensible symbolism. He called Rudolf von Alt his greatest teacher. The two show similar subject matter and use of color, but Alt displays fantastical landscapes giving equal if not more attention to nature and the surrounding environment than to the architecture. In his 1925 autobiography Mein Kampf, Adolf Hitler described how, in his youth, he wanted to become a professional artist, but his dreams were ruined because he failed the entrance exam of the Academy of Fine Arts Vienna. Hitler was rejected twice by the Institute, once in 1907 and again in 1908. In his first examination, he had passed the preliminary portion which was to draw two of the assigned iconic or biblical scenes, in two sessions of three hours each. The second portion was to provide a previously prepared portfolio for the examiners. It was noted that Hitler's works contained too few heads. The institute considered that he had more talent in architecture than in painting. One of the instructors, sympathetic to his situation and believing he had some talent, suggested that he apply to the Academy's School of Architecture. However, that would have required returning to secondary school from which he had dropped out and to which he was unwilling to return. According to a conversation in August 1939 before the outbreak of World War II, published in the British War Blue Book, Hitler told British Ambassador Neville Henderson, I am an artist and not a politician. Once the Polish question is settled, I want to end my life as an artist. From 1908 to 1913, Hitler tinted postcards and painted houses for a living. He painted his first self-portrait in 1910 at the age of 21. This painting, along with 12 other paintings by Hitler, was discovered by U.S. Army Sergeant Major Willie J. McKenna in 1945 in Essen, Germany. Samuel Morgenstern, an Austrian businessman and a business partner of the young Hitler in his Vienna period, bought many of the young Hitler's paintings. According to Morgenstern, Hitler came to him for the first time at the beginning of the 1910s, 
either in 1911 or in 1912. When Hitler came to Morgenstern's Glacier store for the first time, he offered Morgenstern three of his paintings. Morgenstern kept detailed records of his clientele, through which it was possible to locate the buyers of young Hitler's paintings. It was found that the majority of the buyers were Jewish. An important client of Morgenstern, a lawyer by the name of Joseph Feingold, bought a series of paintings by Hitler depicting Old Vienna. When Hitler served in World War I at the age of 25 in 1914, he carried fine paper and canvas with him to the front and spent hours of leave time drawing and painting. The works he painted during this period were among his last before he became a politician. The themes of his wartime painting included farmers' houses, the dressing station, A number of Hitler's paintings were seized by the United States Army, some believed to still be in Germany, at the end of World War II. They were taken to the United States with other captured materials and are still held by the U.S. government, which has declined to allow them to be exhibited. Other paintings were kept by private individuals. In the 2000s, a number of these works began to be sold at auction. In 2009, auction house Mullix of Shropshire sold 15 of Hitler's paintings for a total of £97,672, US $143,358, while auctioneers at Ludlow Racecourse of Shropshire sold 13 works for over €100,000. In a 2012 auction in Slovakia, a mixed-media painting fetched €32,000. And on November 18, 2014, a watercolor by Hitler of the old registry office in Munich, Stundesamt München, sold for €130,000 at an auction in Nuremberg. The watercolor included a bill of sale and a signed letter by Albert Bormann, which may have contributed to its comparatively high selling price. In July 2017, Mullock auctions sold two rare royal pictures. One shows a house at a lake. A group of scholars estimate that there are only 300 completed works by Hitler over the span of his life. However, Hitler mentioned in his book, Mein Kampf, that while in Vienna, he produced around two or three paintings a day. Even if he were to paint one portrait a day for the years he spent in Vienna, that number would be well over 600. Peter Jan, perhaps one of the foremost experts on Hitler's art, said he had two interviews with Hitler. Hitler said in the six years he spent in Vienna and Munich, from 1908 to 1914, he produced over a thousand paintings, a few of them in oils, like Hitler's tree at a track from 1911. Jan was one of the original people assigned by Schulte Stratthaus, before Hitler annexed Austria in 1938. Jan spent nearly four years tracking down Hitler's early works, until he was called into military service. Jan became the art consultant to the German embassy in Vienna in 1937, where he would then search for, purchase and collect individual pieces of Hitler's art, in order to allegedly destroy a majority of the paintings. One of the most extensive private collections of Hitler's art was housed at the International Museum of World War II in Natick, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching.